Hello guys, welcome to Miss T's Tarot. Today we will be doing a pick a card reading. Uh, what you need to hear right now. I have three pals. Pick from the pal that you most attracted to. I have pal number one with the white heart. Pal number two with the green heart. Pal number three with the black heart. I'll give you a moment to choose the pal that you like the most and we'll get started with what you need to hear right now. Okay, pal number one. Here's the white heart. Okay, the five of cups came out. I feel like um, you've been through a whole lot of pain or maybe a loss in a relationship or maybe you've lost somebody that was very close to you or maybe you lost some things in the past, you know. Also, um, I have the five of pentacles came out, two fives back to back. Um, I feel like maybe in the past, um, you lost some things, maybe, you know, your finances, your job, maybe your home or something like that. Uh, like I said, maybe you even lost a family member or somebody you really love close to you. Maybe, um, you lost a relationship or friendship or something, but, um, also the high priestess came out, um, I feel like you're very intuitive and you have a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Uh, you've been through a whole lot in the past, but you know, um, you have a lot of wisdom and knowledge and you have snapped back from these things. Maybe, like I said, you had some financial loss, maybe a job or something in the past, but you are very intuitive. You, um, have a lot of wisdom and knowledge to push through the things that um you've been through in the past you know being intuitive really helped you to push through the pain and the loss and the grief uh because you have a lot of wisdom and knowledge that things are going to be better for you also the nine of pentacles came out yeah your money is going to be looking good um you know your consistent effort working on your money uh, everything's going to be looking good with your finances. The things you've been through in the past, you know, you're coming back up. Your money's looking good. Uh, you're feeling better. You're very intuitive, very wise. Uh, you know, you overcoming this past pain and loss. Uh, you're getting your abundance back. Your money's back looking good. You know, once upon a time, it looked like you had a... Uh, financial loss or, you know, hardship once upon a time, but you getting back on your feet. Uh, you know, you working very hard. Your money is looking good. Yeah, you have moved on from, you know, some things. You recovering from some things that, you know, had you in a bad way once upon a time with this Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. You have snapped back. Your money is looking good. You moved on, you know. Uh, you restore harmony again in your life from all the past, uh, you know, grief and loss that you've been through. You are the high priestess. So, you know, you're very intuitive. You knew that you would overcome these things. But, you know, now your money is looking good again. You moved on to a calmer place in your life where your mental state is looking better. You feeling better. Your money is looking good. Also, we have the Wheel of Fortune here. You have a whole lot of good luck that's coming your way. Luck is on your side. Once upon a time, it looks like, power one, that, you know, you was going through some things, as we all do at some time in life. But things are working in your favor here with the Wheel of Fortune. You got good luck on your side. Uh, a lot of opportunities coming your way. Uh, to help you make more money with the Nine of Pentacles. You know, your money is looking good. You got a lot of good luck is on your side. Karma, good karma is on your side. Also, uh, 
Yeah, you have healed from some type of past relationship wound. Maybe with that five of uh, cups, maybe you lost in a relationship, you know. Something happened that caused you a whole lot of pain in your past relationship, but you are healing from that. You with the six of swords, you moved on to calmer waters, you restoring harmony in your life. I feel like uh with this let them go card, you have let <clears throat> these past relationships that have caused you pain and heartache, you have let them go. Or spirit is asking you to let it all go. I feel like you have because with that six of swords, you have turned your back and moved on from everything that caused you pain and you restoring your life. You're getting the harmony back in your life again. Uh, also, your hard work is paying off. You've been working really hard. You That's probably the reason why you got the nine of pentacles here. Your money looking good. You've been working very hard. Uh, your work is paying off. Yeah, because it's independent, it's 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 focused here. You're very independent. Yeah, you kind of fell off with some type of hardship before, but you picked yourself back up just as you know you would because you're the high priestess. You can't keep the high priestess down. You have a whole lot of wisdom, knowledge. You're very intuitive. You know exactly what you want. Yeah, we all go through things in life sometimes that cause us a little heartache and, and you know, hardships, but you pick yourself back up and moved on to a harmony again in your life. You got a good, a lot of good luck, good fortune is coming here on top of that. More and more money, more and more good luck, good karma with the wheel of fortune is here. But here, uh, your ex is pissed off at you. And you've been healing from this past relationship wound. This person probably is pissed off because, you know, you've moved on, turned your back. You're not hearing any of that no more. You're working on you. You're building your money up. You know, things are happening good for you in your life. And just as I said, unexpected money, more money is coming for you. You already have the nine of pentacles here. The wheel of fortune is here. A lot of good karma, good luck is coming towards your way. Uh, Spirit said, let them go. Keep letting them go. Keep turning your back to them with the Six of Swords. Uh, yeah, you're restoring har harmony in your life. Also, I have uh, pulled some more cards. Um, the crumbling is here. So it's like, what are you clinging on to that you need to let go? Because that card came out, let them go. If it's something you cling on to, Spirit is asking that you stop clinging on to it and move forward towards your dreams and your goals. Uh, you know, your hard work is paying off. Stay focused. Uh, don't look back with the Six of Swords. Spirit wants you to know that. Stop clinging on to the past. Uh, you know, you heal from this uh, past relationship. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that you are clinging on to this. It's something um, that you cling on to. The Spirit is asking you to let go. Okay, the inner temple is here. It says, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. So it's like Spirit wants you to follow your heart. Do what your heart tells you to do because you're very intuitive. You're getting a good feeling about it because you already, uh, you know, you have a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Um, but spirit wants you to tune in to what your heart is telling you to do. Follow your heart on whatever it is, excuse me, <coughs> that you want to do. <coughs> excuse me. The ever unfolding rose here. The ever unfolding rose is here. It said, cracked open, it is happening for you, not to you. So, yeah, a whole lot of good karma, good luck. Uh, you know, your money is, gone, is looking good. Uh, Spirit said, crack, it's cracked open already. Let it come open, crack, finish cracking it open, and it's happening for you, not to you. It's happening for you. Everything is happening for you. 
Everything you've been through, spirit has came and restored everything. You know, the pain, the grief, the loss of financial uh financial and material hardship. Uh you have been restored. So things are happening for you. Everything is happening for you. This good life, this good karma is coming. You got good luck on your side. Also, it said Akasha. Akasha, your guidance is divinely. Your guidance is divinely guided. Akasha, your your guidance is divinely guided. So spirit is guiding you in the right direction. Spirit has restored your harmony. Uh you the high priestess, you know, you, you very intuitive. You knew that you could snap back behind all these things. You were gaining your power back. Uh, and spirit is helping you, guiding you divinely. In every move that you're making, spirit is helping you to heal yourself from these wounds that you had in the past, past relationship wounds, heartaches. You are being guided and restored again. Harmony is being restored. Money, everything that you lost in the past is being restored. So, pal number one, um, everything is looking good. You snap back from the, everything that you've been through. you building yourself back up. Uh... You knew exactly what to do because you was intuitive. You turned your back to these situations. You start working on your money and you got yourself back together. And good karma is coming for you. Good luck is on your side. The Wheel of Fortune is here. So this is a very good reading, uh, Pal One, because I feel like you made it. You snapped back from everything that, you know, tried to destroy you, you know, at the lowest point in your life, you did snap back because you are the high priestess, pal, number one. And the divine is guiding you. Everything you want, you will have. You restoring everything you lost. You have restored it. And there's more to come. More money, more blessings, unexpected. More money is coming. You have the nine of pentacles. I am proud of you, pal, number one, because... You made it. You snapped back because these two fives here, these fives are something else. And more money is coming towards you. I love this reading right here. You independent. You always been. Everything is looking good for you, pal number one. So if you guys enjoyed this message, at the end of uh, all these pals, press the like, share, and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, pal number one. We're going to move on to pile number two. Okay, pile number two is the green heart. What messages do we have for power number two? Okay, the King of Cups came out. What do you need to hear right now? Power number two. Um, power number two, what you need to hear right now, you have a lot of knowledge and strength. You are the king of cups or queen of cups. You have a very a whole lot of knowledge and strength. You're a protector. Um, you know, you are the king of cups. Yeah, you have a whole lot of knowledge. And also right beside that, the king of wands came out. You are a born leader, entrepreneur, uh, a boss type person. You're a king or a queen of cups and the king or queen of pentacles. Um, you're very ambitious. You're a very smart, strong, balanced person. Uh, knowledgeable person here. 
uh, a born leader, a boss. Also, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, you're a very brave person, a career-minded person. Uh, maybe you're a boss on your job. Maybe you're a leader on your job. Maybe you work for yourself, but you very, you very strong, very a uh, very a balanced person, very knowledgeable person, uh, independent, very ambitious, very a career minded person here at power number two. I see that you know you you about your business. You very smart. Um, maybe you should be your own boss or entrepreneur. Um, yeah, you are a very, uh, career minded person with the King of Cups, King of Wands, King of Cups, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're a very brave person. Someone needs to be in leadership. Uh, we also had a ten of wands here. Uh, maybe you've been through a whole lot in the past that have burdened you down. Maybe it was jobs, relationship, family or something, but you have had enough of this. Maybe it's even a job, you know, because you are a born leader. You have a lot of strength. You're very knowledgeable, a professional person. Uh, maybe you're an entrepreneur, maybe a mentor or something, uh, but it's showing up that you're a very career-minded person. Maybe you had enough of working for people and that you're your own boss now. You no longer want to work for others. Maybe you uh deciding to uh, start a new business or something here. Also, the emperor is here. Yeah, like I said, you are, you are, uh, well, a spirit, what you need to hear right now, you are a born leader. You are authority figure. So maybe it's time, if you haven't already started doing this, is working for yourself, being an entrepreneur, because you have, you, you very smart, uh, have all the strength, the balance, a born leader, entrepreneur, a boss, a mentor here. Somebody that's, uh, very career minded. Uh, a self-leader, somebody that needs to be in control. I feel like uh, what you need to hear, pal number two, you need to step into what it is that you're burdened down with. You no longer want any more. I feel like it's a job or something, you know, because it, it, it's all coming up here that you need to be a boss. You, you are a boss. So I feel like you the emperor, you know what you want and you get what you want. So I feel like a lot of you guys are stepping into your boss mode, bossing up, working for yourself, being more creative, doing things on your own that's going to uh, bring you, because the Ten of Pentacles came out behind it. I feel like you guys need to be entrepreneurs and work for yourselves or in some type of leadership position because the Ten of Pentacles came behind it. You got a lot of wealth coming here. A lot of achievements coming here. So, pal number two, uh, what you need to hear right now, you know, is uh, keep it moving. If you feel like that you need to work for yourself or start a business of your own, Spirit is telling you it's going to bring you this Ten of Pentacles. Because it's a lot of king kings here. The emperor is here, right here. I pulled that out before that. The emperor is here. King of Wands, I mean, uh, yeah, King of Wands, King, uh, Knight of Swords. All this is about being a boss, career-minded person with that Knight of Swords. Yes, uh, what you need to hear right now, go ahead on and start your business if you haven't or move on up the ladder and get in this boss mode because you are a born leader here. The Emperor is a born leader. The King of Cups. Very knowledgeable person. Yes. 
So spirit is telling you uh, that go ahead on and step up into this boss position, whether it's out on your own, your own business, or go ahead on and take this position on a job, you know, to, you know, move on up the ladder. Because you're going to have the Ten of Pentacles. Wealth is here. Happiness is here. Achievements. Money achievements. Boss achievements. You, pal, too, you got a boss mind. Step into your boss position. This is what Spirit wants you to know. Because you're tired of working for others with that Ten of Wands there. So don't be afraid to just go ahead on and do it if you haven't already. But it's going to bring you to Ten of Pentacles. No worries. This boss position is going to bring you the Ten of Pentacles. Your money is going to be looking very good. You the emperor. Okay, also I have some more cards. Yeah. It said you have a divine mission here. So you need to do what you are called to do. Uh, step up to this boss position. Step into your entrepreneur position. You have a divine mission to not work for others because I'm seeing all this here. You have all the knowledge, everything. A born leader is here twice. The emperor and the king of wands is here. So spirit said you have a divine mission. Do what you are being called to do. Whatever your spirit uh, is calling you to do, go for it because it's going to bring you the ten of pentacles here. <clears throat> also, what you need to hear right now is, pal number two, is some issues that you need to clear up with your mother. This card came out. Pal number two, maybe some issues that you guys need to clear up with your mother. Also, energy vampires came out. Uh, you got some people around you is trying to drain your energy and spirit is calling that you get more protection cleanse your space be careful about the people that you are around because they're draining your energy and you don't need that right now you got a lot on your mind you trying to step into your boss mode entrepreneur mode uh you don't need people trying to drain your energy because it's something that you got to do and you got to keep working on what you are divinely called to do. So cleanse your space, protect your energy. If it feels like something not right, pull yourself back, cleanse yourself, use your, um, take your spiritual baths, you know, all of that. Just be careful about uh, the people that you are being around right now because you got work to do here. And you already, some of you guys may be working already on your boss mode or in your boss position or on your entrepreneurship, but you don't need these energy vampires around because they're going to drain you of all your energy and you need your energy to do what you are divinely called to do. Just like I said, you are a divine Feminine or divine masculine. I can't make this up. It came out. So, yeah, you are divinely called to go on this mission to work for yourself, I believe. That's what Spirit wants you to do. You are you are born to be a boss, a leader. You had enough of working for others for this little bit of money because Spirit is telling you you're going to have that Ten of Pentacles. You are a divine female or a divine masculine. Spirit wants you to uh, know to be patient on love right now. Focus on, um, you know, getting into the leadership position that you're called to be in or where you want to go in your life, whether, you know, uh, working for yourself or being in a higher position on your job. But Spirit said, wait for love. Be patient on love. Don't be in a hurry to get in love. Just focus on your idea of being a boss and entrepreneurship here. Yeah, life has made you strong. Like I said, you had the t Ten of Wands on your back one time. And you were burdened down a lot with life. 
uh, life or uh, ups and downs or uh, these jobs. Now it's time to, uh, you know, step into your divine mission, your calling. Whatever you being called to do to be this boss, this entrepreneurship, you know, your leader. Life has made you very strong. You've been through the Ten of Wands. You, I mean, life has made you very strong. You know what you want. You know you deserve to be a leader. You want to be a leader. It sucks working for people. Maybe that's what you don't want to do anymore. You're an emperor, empress. The Ten of Pentacles are coming. So Spirit wants you to uh, know to focus on your calling. Also, um, yes came out. Spirit say, just say yes to the calling. Say yes to the calling and step into uh, the calling of leadership, your divine mission. Say yes to the calling. Just say yes and do it. Don't avoid it any longer because you don't want to be in this. You're tired of being in the Ten of Wands energy. You know what you deserve, that leadership position, that boss position. Yep, Spirit said, uh, you go first and the universe will catch you. So Spirit said, don't be afraid to step into this leadership or boss position. You know, the universe is going to be there to catch you. Spirit is asking that you go for it because everything going to work out in your favor. You're going to have a happy life. You're going to have the abundant life. You're going to live the life that you always dreamed of living. Spirit said, do not hold back. Go. And if anything happens, Spirit, the universe is going to catch you. Say, go first and I will catch you. The universe did it. Also, we have a pillar of light here. Your, vib your vibration is rising here. You are the oracle. Yes, your vibration is rising because you already know that you want to be a boss and this is where you're supposed to be. You're no longer in that 10 of wands. Your vibration has risen. You know where you need to be and where you want to be. And Spirit, as I already said, go for it. They will catch you. So Spirit wants you to go for this position that you want. Whether it's a job, a high leadership job, or entrepreneur position, a mentor, whatever he's calling you to do, your you are vibrating high. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. So follow your calling here, power number two. Lamoria is here creating heaven. Creating heaven on earth. And what that means is the happy, abundance, loving, caring uh, life here. You know, creating all the happiness with the good in your life. You know, everything being abundance, uh, you're going to have it with the Ten of Pentacles. So you creating, Spirit wants you to start creating heaven on earth for yourself. The loving, caring, abundant life here. Pal number two. I think this is very good too, um, pal number two, on what you need to hear right now. You need to hear that you need to go for it. Stop thinking about it. Don't have, you know, no, you know, don't be afraid to go ahead on and step up to the position that you are called, that you know that you deserve. With the King of Cups, King of Wands, the Emperor is here. Spirit said, go for it. Don't be afraid to go for this position. You deserve this. You've been through a lot of the Ten of Wands. Spirit said, go for it, because you're going to be very abundant. You're going to have a happy family. You're going to be happy, wealthy achievements you're going to be happy doing what you love to do and that's being in a boss position uh power number two so spirit in the universe wants you to know they got your back go for it don't be afraid step into your boss mode the emperor or the empress mode get this position it's yours spirit is telling you go for it. it's yours don't be afraid any longer to go for it. Uh, 
That's all I have for pound number two. I'm going to start pound number three now. Okay, pound number three is the black heart here. You probably can't see it. It's on the black. Pound number three is the black heart. Okay, pound number three, what you need to hear right now. The three of pentacles came out. Oh. Uh, It, I feel like you're going to be working with some people. You're trying to expand yourself. You're going to be working with some people, uh, maybe teamwork on a job or a project. Uh, you're thinking about it's time to expand. Uh, expand in your crafts, your work. Uh, it's time to expand here. Also, um, you got a romantic lover coming in here, pal number three. We also had a seven of wands here. Um, you defending your territory. You setting boundaries. You standing your grounds. You protecting. Yeah, you're defending, you're defending yourself here. I'm going to get all the cards out and then I'll be able to tell you more. The Seven of Swords also came out. Two sevens back to back. Uh, Spirit wants you to be aware of uh, some type of deceit going on around you. Maybe, I'm going to say with this Three of Pentacles, maybe you work with some people here or uh, on a job or something like that but uh spirit wants you to be aware of deceit or some type of betrayal here but uh you setting your boundaries here uh you standing your grounds you you gonna defend yourself against it but you have a lot of options here when it come down to uh Maybe love and uh, working on a job. Maybe um, you got a lot of options, creative options, maybe on your job or you're going to be expanding yourself to a new career or doing something new. But you're going to be working with some people, but you have many options here. Um, yeah, you have the hermit mode here. Spirit wants you to know uh, it's okay to be to yourself, but, you know, don't just shut yourself completely off. You've been doing that. You got a new love that's coming in here. Maybe you've been closed off to, you know, being around, trying to be out, you know, to maybe you've been in hermit mode. Maybe you haven't been getting out a lot. But it's a romantic visitor going to come in. This person is going to be like uh, your knight in shining armor. Um, this person maybe even asks you for a commitment or maybe a proposal is coming in for marriage. But it is a new love that's coming in. Uh, but spirit wants you to be aware of some people or you know, or someone that's coming in, uh, be aware of some type of deceit here. Uh, but you got your guards up. You have, you got your guards up. I mean, you, you, uh, you standing your ground, you setting boundaries, but spirit wants you to come up out the hermit mode, probably where you can meet this, um, this message is for male or female. Uh, if it's female, you could meet your knight in shining armor because it's a new love is coming, romantic lover coming in. And for the guys, you could meet your queen. This is this is somebody coming in 
that's going to be a romantic lover. I um, mean, it's going to be like never before, like a knight in shining armor or your queen. Uh, let me get a little bit more on some more cards here. Yeah, you've, you've outgrown people. So maybe that's why you set boundaries here with the seven of wands. You're not taking stuff anymore from some people. You've outgrown. You're not having it anymore. You have set your boundaries. You're protecting yourself. You're defending yourself. You got somebody here that's fantasizing about you here. Fantasizing about you, pal three. Like I said, you uh pal number three, you got you got several options here. Somebody's coming in, a romantic love is coming here, but you got several options here. Somebody is fantasizing about you. I don't know if they see you on social media or if it's a past person or what, but it's, you got somebody fantasizing about you. But right here, uh, Spirit wants you to know that your angels are very proud of you for, you know, defending yourself or, uh, you know, walking away from these people that you have outgrown, you have set boundaries, you're not having it anymore. Spirit wants you to know to get more protection here. Get more protection here. Do your sage baths. I mean, do your sage your house, cleanse your house, do your spiritual baths, uh, get your spiritual candles, sage your space. Because uh, with that seven of wands there and that seven of swords there, uh, it's it's some. Just be aware of some deceit that's coming through. But uh, pretty much you with that seven of wands, you have set your boundaries. You protecting yourself. You defending yourself. But spirit wants you to be careful and make sure that you cleanse in your area your, yourself. Taking your spiritual baths. Use your candles. Protect yourself because it is some deceit here. But you already in defensive mode. Just, you know, just keep up, keep up in your protection here. Your spirits, uh, angels are very proud of you because of the things uh, that you have set boundaries with here. Uh, yeah, your angels are very proud of you. Yes, you are manifesting your dream life here. A happy, peaceful life, uh, you know, you manifest in your dream life. Maybe that's what you've been working on right here, or you will be working with some people that's going to help you get to the life uh, that you're manifesting about financially. Love life is here. So you are manifesting the dream life that you want. And maybe that's why you've been in hermit mode so long, because you want to be careful with how you choose to do things now. As far as uh, the things you manifest in, uh, you know, your uh, money, your love, you've been in hermit mode, you, you know exactly what you want. So you've been manifesting these things that you want. Spirit said to hear that you are very abundant. You're going to have to be very abundant in money, love, good health. Very abundant here. So I feel like um, you're going to be working with somebody, uh, maybe building your money or, you know, teamwork, working, something to do with work here. Maybe uh, this could be somebody from work that, you know, that you need to set boundaries with or you defending yourself about uh, uh, with but you you know you already know you defending yourself you have set boundaries maybe this is somebody at work or something going on on your job that could be deceitful here but spirit said um get more protection i feel like that this could be on your job you work with somebody here that's trying to be deceitful here but just be aware 
and get more protection, spirit say. Because you are manifesting the dream life you want. And that's a, this drama free. You don't want none of this drama. You manifesting a romantic lover, a love to come into your life, your money to be good. You working on some type of craft or something that's going to bring you this abundance here. More abundance. You manifesting it's the love, the craftsmanship, the money. You manifesting all this. And your angels are very proud of you because you took the time to go in hermit mode to, you know, to intercept, reflect on your inner self. You soul search yourself. You know exactly what you want. And you not up for no type of drama in no type of way. Spirit said, keep on defending yourself. Like with the seven of wands, you already doing that, power number three. Somebody going to come in, a romantic lover here. This could be long term. But you've been manifesting your dream life. It's coming, power number three. That's what Spirit wants you to know. It is definitely coming. Just get more protection from these people. Like I said, I don't know if it's on your job or where it's coming from. But just beware. Something like that could come up. But you are defending yourself. You're not going anymore for that. Drama-free life is what you want. You defending your territory. Ain't nobody getting in your territory or in your mind and circle with that crap because you're not going. You defending yourself right here. You set boundaries. No more of it. Whether it's at work or anything. <coughs> also, we have some more cards here before I end this message, you guys. Oh, it said get grounded here. Get grounded, connect with nature more. Spirit wants you to get more out into nature. Get some sunlight. Connect with the nature right now. You need to be around trees, birds. Get a lot of sunlight. Spirit said that will help you get grounded. Okay, it said deep replenishments here. So it said retreat, rest, and be held. So Spirit's saying that, yeah, uh, replenish yourself. You know, get the rest. Uh, you know, pamper yourself more. Restore yourself if you need to at times. It's okay to, you know... Pamper yourself, uh, get get the rest that you need. Don't feel guilty about taking a day off or not doing things around the house. Spirit says it's all about you. Do things that make yourself feel better, whatever it is. Replenish yourself. Get yourself and your energy back up. Spirit wants you to get grounded. Go out into nature. Replenish yourself. Spirit also say, don't dim your light. Don't dim your light for anybody to fit in. You have set your boundaries here and, and keep your boundaries. You don't have to dim your light to fit in with anybody. If they don't like who you are, so be it. Don't change yourself. Spirit doesn't want you to change yourself to fit in with anybody. Also, it said, star mother. How can you mother yourself? I feel like just like you mother a child, that's how you need to mother yourself. We need to start mothering ourselves. Do not ne keep neglecting yourself. Show yourself the love you deserve. Show, I mean, take care of yourself just as you would your child. Take care of yourself, your body, mind, and soul, and spirit. Take care of yourself, mother yourself, love yourself. This is what spirit wants you to know right now. So I feel like um, power number three, basically here in this power, um, you know, you working on something here. Maybe you're doing some teamwork at work or something. 
uh, but you have a lot of creative options that, that's here. You know, you got a lot of options with this Seven of Cups on maybe work or love or whatever is right here. But it's a new love that's coming in. Spirit wants you to come up out the hermit mode. You've been in the hermit mode. You know exactly what you want. You pulled yourself back. Spirit says, now time to get out and be open to this new love that's going to come in, these new opportunities that's coming in. But also keep setting your boundaries. Stand your ground. Spirit does not want you to dim your light here for not anybody. Don't dim it. Don't pull your, don't, as if it's something you don't want to do, don't do it. Keep setting your boundaries. But beware, it's somebody around. I don't know if it's somebody, like I said, that work with you or what. But it's somebody coming in with some type of cunning, deceitful ways. But you you setting your boundaries. Keep your keep setting your boundaries. Keep being in defensive mode. Don't dim your life for anybody. Spirit wants you to get grounded, get more out in the nature and get grounded to nature, birds, trees, sunlight, replenish yourself, get the rest you need, drink your water, take care of yourself. So, um, guys, this is all I have for you guys on um, um, what you need to hear right now. If you guys enjoyed these messages today, uh, press the like, share, and subscribe button. And thank you guys for watching Miss T's Tarot. See you next time.